In this drill, we're gonna use the power of intention to improve your topspin technique. Now, you'll often hear Craig O'Shaughnessy, the ATP analyst and uh, Djokovic's ex-coach, talk about uh, the value of depth. And he talks about the five ways you can, you can force an error. Um, speed, spin, depth, uh, direction, etc. And he calls depth the diamond, right? It's the best way to put pressure on your opponent. And topspin is the way you get depth, right? You want to hit the ball into the back of the court, the, the box at the back of the tennis court. And to do that, you need to clear the net quite by some, uh, by some distance. And I've put a, a second net above the existing net. So I've almost tried to double the height of the net. And just the, the, the thought of having to hit up like that, the, the net's then making me think about hitting up uh, and that's what's going to help me hit better topspin technique. Now, that sounds a bit uh, odd. Let me explain that a bit better. So sometimes we work on our technique. We, we literally focus on you know, exactly what we're doing right here in front of us, how we're moving the racket. We, we look, we've, we're very much focused on the mechanics and the technique we're using, right? There's another way to, to work on, on your tennis, and that's using intention. And it's to focus on the outcome. Now, often when we learn tennis, we try not to focus on outcome because if you get too attached to the outcome, you, you, you can't concentrate on the, on the things you're learning. But this, in this case, it's the opposite. So we're gonna, we, we've told ourselves we want to get the ball deep, we want to get it into the back box, and by telling ourselves that's the outcome we're looking for, we want to just let the body get on with achieving that uh, for us. It's a bit like the inner game of tennis, that, that sort of a logic. That's, we want to simplify things. We don't want to think about it too much. We know that's where we want the ball to end up, really deep, with a lot of topspin. We use the topspin pro just to reinforce the sort of right swing and mechanics, just to give us a bit of a guide. And we use it just before we hit the shot. So let me give an example. We're going to do, we're going to do 20 of these, right? So you hit your topspin forehand like that, then you run across to the side, drop the ball, and hit it, okay, well, that's really deep, probably a bit too much uh, height there. But the idea is to use that net to make you think about hitting up, right? The Topspin Pro also makes you think about hitting up. So a couple of goes in the Topspin Pro, jump to the side, while that muscle memory is fresh, straight away, it's that shot. You've got to clear both nets, and by doing that, you're much more likely to get the ball into the back box. There we go. So it's a great drill to work on that. And you can sort of mix it up a little bit, right? So you grab a few balls there. You can play your first shot in the Topspin Pro, run across here, drop the ball in front of you, hit that depth. Now you can try an inside out forehand. So you'll hit the shot in the Topspin Pro. You'll back away like this and do that, right? But that visual element of having a net in front of you forces you to think about hitting up. And if, instead of hitting up like this, you're hitting up with a closed, with your string slightly closed, and that's going to get that spin on the ball, get it going up and dipping down right at the back of the court. Now, the second part of this drill is to make it work for your backhand. So if you've got a single-handed backhand, uh, let's put the toss over there. Um, it's a bit easier because you've got that spare hand to hold the ball. So same thing, you warm up the shot on the Topspin Pro, then you run across, drop the ball, and again, got it over the first net and into the back box. So, shot on the Topspin Pro, step across. That's a bit high, right? And that's fine, you wanna practice, uh, and you're gonna get mistakes, so you keep going. Topspin Pro, Step across. Again, that's long. I need more topspin. Let's see if I can do that, right? So, put more topspin on the Topspin Pro. There you go. Step across. Yeah, much better. And one last one. There we go. Okay, and you can do it for the double-handed backhand as well. It's a little bit harder, because you've got to uh, You've got to throw the ball with a bit more height, so, you can, so you've can. you got time to get your grip and everything sorted out. Let's try that now. So. Okay. So, first the shot on the Topspin Pro. Then you step across, 
Toss it up. There we go. That one is a bit short. Okay, again, on the Topspin Pro. Step across. Much better. And that shot, I mean, that's deep. It's got a lot of topspin. It's going to really push your opponent back, and it's exactly why um, Craig O'Shaughnessy is right when he says depth is the diamond. It causes the most trouble for your opponents uh, when it comes to forcing an error.